Hi, good morning. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a twin flame from Chicago. And I have another video that I'm doing right now about the cosmic energies and you. I'm going to cover quite a bit, so I'm just going to go right into it. Um, there is uh, quite a bit that's been going on for a lot of people actually over the past two years. And I'm going to use my diagram, which wasn't too visible the other day, to try and illustrate some of this. So this is your body, and you're making all these connections. So you live on the earth right now. Your consciousness is here. You're sim there's several things going on simultaneously. You are simultaneously collapsing all your dualities, and as you're doing that, you're pulling strings of yourself into yourself. And the seven chakras that we once knew have been expanded. And what we have now is, and these are not color coded by the way, don't place any value on the color that I'm using here. You have the soul star, which is your soul group. And that is for the Illumin Twins, the uh, Jeshua Magdalene Soul Group, Magdalene Jeshua Soul Group. You have the Earth Star, which is the new fifth dimensional connection. This is, this is the new Earth. This represents the new Earth. This is your five fifth dimensional grounding. Now, you also have, for many people, what my guides called your royal crown. Your royal crown, for many people, gave you a headache as it was put, activated, um, or felt like a helmet being placed over your head or something like this. But this is actually your connection to the soul star. Uh, it is... Uh, above your your crown, you have your crown, you have your brow, you have your throat, you have the high heart, your heart. Okay, there's some new ones opening for people. Some people have been aware, and they've had it open for a while. That is your splenic chakra, which is your spleen. Now, science and the medical community will tell you the spleen is a vestigial organ or it's not activated or it doesn't work and yet this is your connection this is actually your portal to infinite possibilities with your twin okay it's also connected to the back of the heart you have your entire solar plexus complex and i'm going to get into that in more detail you have your star core, which is right near your belly button. You have then your sacred area, which starts just below your belly button. And there are many uh, sort of sub chakras or smaller chakras uh, contained within this. This would be what is connected to the reproductive organs, the sexual organs, the connective tissue, your hips. Uh, the musculature, the ligaments, everything that's, that's within this area because this is actually connected to your creativity and your mobility. You have your new root. You have, these are now your mobility chakras. And you have your grounding which many people feel in their feet a lot of times their heel, their toes will feel that. You'll feel things at your knees. You'll feel connections between your knees. Okay. Now, there are also other parts that are being expanded. And these are your sinuses are being expanded and connected into your brow, your crown, your 
throat, your high heart, your mouth. That's not a good color. Your mouth, your upper mandible. Your upper mandible. Okay, so you've got that. You've got your mouth, your teeth. And then you do have your marma points. Now, people who've studied yoga or uh, Hindu or Ayurvedic know about these marma points. And these are actually very important, especially for twins, because this enables you to breathe. They're located here. Your, I'm sorry, wrong finger. <laughs> They're located here on your body. So the connection is actually inside, actually through the cheekbone in, into the sinus. A lot of people will feel very congested here. They'll have these terrible uh, sinus headaches. Your sinuses are being cleansed and cleared through the means of sinus infections, sometimes very awful infections that can last for three weeks. And you'll have pain here. You'll have pain behind your eyes. You might even have stuff that oozes out because a, a lot of people aren't even aware that they might have an accumulation of mucus or something here the sinuses here so the sinuses are actually very large and they are a cavity that actually holds uh, these membranes and quite a bit of the etheric and there's a reason for this this is how you breathe with your twin now something interesting is that the feminine marma point actually will connect to the masculine testy and if twins don't connect properly they can't help each other breathe so this actually does affect both masculine and feminine within your body and masculine and feminine counterparts so you might be together you might not be together but you will sometimes find that you know, you have a problem here, your twin has a problem here. It's an issue, but it's something that's being cleared, reconnected, and connected for good. Okay. You, uh, as an extension of the heart, so these are all becoming one large chakra. So you have one complex here. You have the heart and high heart complex here. You have the solar complex here. And you have the... Uh, sacral. Within the sacral, you have other parts that connect you out to the cosmos. Um, an extension of your heart is your hands. So you do have um, your heart and your hands are connected. If you're having hand pain, if you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, these are usually due to stuff that's uh, either found in the feminine being the left side of the body or the masculine the right side of the body. This would be as if it's facing you. So the left, feminine, right, masculine. This is, it's important, but believe me, you'll figure it out. There's a lot of people, whoops. There's a lot of people that talk about alchemy, and I just want to make a point here. Your human body already does alchemy. Think about it. If you're going to make tears, what do you need to make these tears? Well, there's actually a few things that are put together. Uh, there's water that you ingest. There's other substances you ingest, like proteins, molecule, amino acids. And what happens? You have some energetic that hits you, um, an emotion, or something happens in front of your eyes, and this triggers, and the tears come. The tears are, they've been alchemized. They've been created. They've been created by the atomic elements that are connected to you, and you created it. You're the one that actually creates it.
So don't worry too much about the alchemy or al you know the male and female alchemy or the marriage of the masculine and the feminine. All of this is taking place so that you can simply enjoy each other. Is that to say you might not have a little bit of trial and error? Yes. And honestly, you should because it's you having fun with your twin or exploring. And not everything is going to be a struggle. You know, some of it will be a lovely surprise. And I'm going to now um, illustrate to you that uh, what we're doing here is significant because we're actually connected not just to the earth, we're connected to the new earth, we're connecting ourselves all the way out at the cosmic level. Okay, that ran off the page. So I'm going to flip the page here now and I'm just going to um, use this other one as an illustration. So, oh boy. This is not easy to see. Okay. So um, I talked a little hi. I talked a little bit last time about what you're doing with your twin and how one twin, you're both bridges to the fifth dimension. One twin is getting rid of old, unusable, completely unusable say third dimensional energetics and you're transmuting, you're keeping what's usable for you, you're keeping your favorite things and you are actually um, planting those where you want to be. You're planting those where you want to be. Now, we are going to the cosmic level and making our connections. You're not traveling there yet. You're setting it up so that if you and your twin decide, you actually can. Okay, that may not happen for a few years. That may happen for some people um, very quickly, depending on how merged they are. Because you merge, you're able to go when you have the proper vibration. You can go through these portals. So, what is the cosmic? Well, these are places that we've been. This is Sirius, which is getting a lot of attention now because this is actually the removal of the uh, last of the patriarchal energies that have gotten very heavy and distorted. Um, the Pallades, Pallades, um, Arcturus, Andromeda, lots of other places. I mean, Mars, Neptune. Okay, so what happens with this? Well, what I'm going to tell you about this is that at the cosmic level, we've already lived in these places. We've actually threaded through everything and brought it here, brought ourselves, we've incarnated here. We've brought the good stuff. We've brought some of the bad stuff too. Like I say, patriarchal energies, uh, the Melchizedek priesthood uh, got real heavy here. And um, while they do great work and there's always good intention, a paradoxical situation on earth is that a lot of these great intentions wound up getting distorted and really heavy, and it's going now. So what we have is uh, all of our connections at the cosmic level. So I'm going to cover that in my next video.